Welcome to today's Watch One video. These are some horrific discoveries people came across while going about their everyday life. We hope you enjoy. Finding a worm in your apple, a hole in your sock or a scratch on your car are never things a person wants to find. But when you think about it, things could be worse. A lot worse. You would much rather a little worm in your apple than any of the tragic, nauseating and offensive discoveries in this list any day of the week. The last thing you want when you're out burglarizing properties is to come across the horrific sight of the homeowner hanged to death. That's exactly what a rather unlucky crook got when he was robbing a house in Hamilton, New Zealand. After realizing he just bumped into a hanged man in the dark, the burglar tore out of the house screaming he's dead. He's dead. And hot-footed it to his mother's house a few doors down. Apart from the obvious strange circumstance of the case, one has to beg the question, why would you rob a house a few doors away? Another strange twist was the uncharacteristic leniency the cops showed the would-be burglar. They let him off, believing that this macabre series of events would scare him straight. Let's hope so. We can be pretty sure that 8th century Ireland was a rather superstitious place. In fact, without the benefit of modern medical and scientific advances I'm sure pretty much anywhere will have been superstitious to the extreme back then. Burning people for witchcraft, mistaking comets for dragons tearing through the clouds and the belief that water from a random spring could heal that pesky bout of leprosy were pretty much fact of life for your average dark age peasant. But this archaeological discovery in County Roscommon really paints a fearful picture of life in that period. During a routine survey of medieval churches, a gruesome set of burials were found in the grounds of an ancient church. Two male skeletons, one aged in his 40s the other in his 20s, were unearthed and found to be sporting some rather novel mouth gear. They had large stones placed into their mouths. The professionals studying the skeletons could surmise that the stones had been wedged in rather violently as opposed to placed in due to the jaws being almost dislocated. But why would people have done this? Had the men committed a crime? Were they too talkative in life? The real explanation is far more disturbing. They were being prevented from returning as marauding zombies. The men were unearthed lying side by side which suggests they had been related or at least died in the same manner. The pictures of the skeletons are chilling, as if straight from a horror movie. Walkers stumble across a bone in the woods is an all too common prelude to the uncovering of some of the grisly series of long forgotten murders that can finally be put to bed. Not so in this bizarre case from Germany. Sebastian Gutter and Stephanie Bauer were enjoying a stroll in the woods near Bruckburg, Lower Bavaria when they stumbled across a human bone poking out of the undergrowth. When officers arrived at the scene, they couldn't find the rest of the body lot until they looked up. The body of Paul Ludwig was sitting on a branch 40 feet up in a fir tree. When Ludwig decided to take his own life because he was suffering from cancer, he left a note for his family that read, Don't look for me. You won't find me. And they didn't, for 29 years. Ludwig had climbed the tree, tied himself to the bark, tied a rifle to his body and shot himself. Police assumed that the ropes had tightened around his limbs as the tree grew causing them to sever the limb bones and lead to the long-awaited discovery. Thanks for watching today's Watch One video. We hope you enjoyed the video and that you never come across horrific discoveries like these. Don't forget to like and subscribe.